So Need for Speed Unbound is just around the corner now and many are still debating buying the game. Here are five things that we think you should know before buying NFS Unbound. So firstly, the platforms. NFS Unbound will not be coming to PS4 or Xbox One. This is rather big, as many players are still using last-gen hardware, given that consoles can be rather hard to come by. That said, the game is coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S and PC. As with all modern titles, you'll need some decent enough specs to run it on PC, but you won't need the latest and greatest 4090 or i9-13900K to make it happen. Just some decent specs that you'll see in most run-of-the-mill gaming desktops or laptops will be absolutely fine and have you playing NFS Unbound in no time. Next up, we have crossplay. Thankfully, the game will support crossplay from launch. So, whether you're on PC, Xbox or PlayStation, you'll be able to squad up and take to the streets for a convoy. There is, however, one thing to note here. Criterion has confirmed that whilst online PvP will be boosted from 8 to 16 players for races and so on, there will only be a max party size of 4. This is half of Heat's 8 player parties. This may be changed post launch given the audience's reaction to this, but for now we're stuck with 3 friends for a car meet. Likewise, there won't be any night time at launch. Yes, you heard that right. If you're looking to cruise around Lakeshore City at night with your mates, you'll be sorely disappointed. At launch, there will be no nighttime multiplayer lobbies, they will all be in the daytime. There is one exception, which is races organised through the meetup race playlists, where there is both variable weather and time of day. Naturally, we assume this will come post launch, so fingers crossed for a nighttime Lakeshore City cruise with your squad at some point in the near future. A new art style has also arrived in Need for Speed. This has arguably been one of the most divisive elements of the game's announcement thus far. With new, anime-inspired graffiti visuals alongside some incredibly realistic cars, some people aren't sure. We at Racing Games, however, are sure. The new style is brilliant for the racing game genre which has somewhat stagnated in recent years, chasing perfection with the true-to-life visuals. Thankfully, as well, for those of you who are looking to avoid this art style, you can easily turn these off and simply enjoy the ride without the new style taking up parts of your screen. And finally, the single player. Need for Speed Unbound has a new storyline that should have you gripped from the get-go as a robbery takes place at a family auto shop. You will fill the shoes of a rookie racer climbing their way to the top with the hopes of claiming back the priceless vehicle. Thankfully, cop chases make a return as well with the new escape mechanic. As with previous Need for Speed titles, the more risks you take, the larger the reward. How far will you push your luck? So that's it for everything you should know before buying NFS Unbound. Is there anything you think we missed? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the giveaway that we're running at the moment. My name's been Toby and I'll catch you in the next one here on the channel soon.